Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new Envato Tuts Plus Quick Tip. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, I'll uh, show you how to seriously boost your productivity by using the new symbols in Sketch. Now, if you're a Sketch user, uh, you already know what symbols are. But if you don't know, well, symbols are like special objects that you can duplicate as many times as you want, uh, and those objects have one source. And if you change the source, all of those objects will be updated automatically. So it's great for things like uh, maybe buttons or um, elements that look the same and that can be found in various places in your project. Now, symbols have been a part of Sketch for a very, very long time. But the problem was that if you had a symbol that looked pretty much the same but had slightly different content uh, across multiple instances, you would be in trouble because changing that content in any of the instances will update all the others. Well, starting in Sketch 3.7, symbols got a revamp. So I have a quick example here. This is uh, what I call the member card. It's an element that has a profile picture, a name, a city, and uh, a small description here. And notice that I have uh, named these layers accordingly. Now, if I go ahead and create a symbol out of this group here, it's going to create the symbol member card. And it's also going to ask me if I want to send a symbol to the symbols page. I'm going to agree to this, hit OK. And now you'll notice that uh, I have a symbol here, and also a symbols page. And the original is actually right here. And I can go ahead and edit, I can move these around if I want to, I can change whatever I want to it. And when I do this, uh, those changes will be reflected on the copies of that symbol. So what I can do now is actually duplicate this as many times as I want. Let's create um, two copies here. And now look at what I can do. If I click on one of these symbols, I have a new section here called overrides. And I can change the description, city, name and profile picture. And these are layers from the original symbol. So if I double click, it's going to take me back to my original symbol and I can see all of those fields here. Now, of course, I if I change one of this, if I put member description here, for example, and I save return to instance, you'll see that uh, on my overrides, that field name will also be updated. So what can I do with this? Well, I can go in here. And I can say, instead of Ruth Swanson, I can say something like James Smith. And this was actually for the description. Sorry about that. But you get the point. Uh, city, I can choose, for example, here, Paris name, let's actually put James Smith here in the name. And uh, I can update this. This is a great description. There we go, enter and this is automatically updated. Now this doesn't just work for text, it also works for images. So as you can see here, I have uh, an image, and I can choose to change this with something else. Yeah, so if I choose uh, another uh, photography here, let's say, this profile picture, yeah, you'll see it update, then I can go to my third card here, and change any of these fields as well. Now, if I double click any of these, I can uh, go ahead and make changes. So for example, if I want this to be further down, I can place it like this, and it will be updated automatically across all of my copies. Now, where would you use this? Well, there are so many examples that come into mind. Basically, this works best for uh, repeatable types of content. For example, when you have a list, where each list item needs to be styled in a certain way, but its content is different. Or, you know, these member cards that I showed you here, you can create like a team page, and you can have each team member follow a specific format, but you know, have their own information like name, picture, maybe or a description, or maybe you're creating a blog page, where each blog entry has a specific format, but of course, it has 
uh, different content. So the uses for this are unlimited. Uh, this is a great addition uh, to Sketch, and I remind you this is for Sketch 3.7 and above. So if you haven't updated, make sure you do that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's a very quick look at the new symbols feature in Sketch. Thanks for watching. I've been Adi Purdila. See you next time.